today, we're going to talk about how not to be replaced by a computer. This one goes out to you students. With a lousy job market, a lot of students and their parents are pretty worried about getting jobs after graduation. But at the same time, there's at least some students who have an attitude that's going to land them directly in the unemployment line. At least a few students approach their courses saying two things. First, give me a whole bunch of information and I'll memorize it. And second, give me a list of directions and I'll follow them. Now, I understand where those students got that attitude. With high stakes testing in public schools, we have a whole generation of students who think that memorizing information and following directions is all there is to learning. And they've had a whole lot of grown ups in their lives telling them to memorize things and follow directions. So I get it. But here's the thing if all you can do is repeat back information that's been given to you and follow a list of instructions, you will be replaced by a computer. This is a USB drive. It can memorize about a billion times more information than you can. And it costs about 20 bucks, whereas you would cost an employer at least $40,000 in salary and benefits. Likewise, take a computer. It can follow directions about a billion times faster than you can, and more accurately too. And it costs just a couple hundred dollars. So, if all you can do is memorize stuff and follow a list of instructions, no employer is going to spend $40,000 employing you when they can spend just a couple hundred dollars once and get exactly the same work. That's the bad news. The good news is that you are a human being, and human beings can do a lot more things than just imitate slow, glitchy computers. Human beings can envision something that wasn't there before. Human beings can identify problems and come up with solutions. Nobody told Steve Jobs to combine a phone and a computer. He couldn't memorize it because it didn't exist yet. He just had a vision and he made it happen. And nobody told Mark Zuckerberg to basically invent social networking. He just saw a need and filled it. Being able to identify those moments and come up with creative solutions is what education is all about, or should be about. So once you've passed all the tests that the grown-ups are stressed out about, leave the memorization and the direction following to the computers, because they're better at it than you are, and they're cheaper too. And you can do things that they can't. Who is that econ guy? I'm Patrick Walsh. I'm an associate professor of economics at St. Michael's College near Burlington, Vermont.